Albert Einstein advises, advocates, or teaches individual resistance to all accepted authorities, whether it be a question of peace or war, government or religion, mathematics or anthropology. She must have meant anthropology. And may I see that, please? The Women's Patriot Corporation. You mean to tell me that we are being interrogated because a gaggle of honking geese wrote a letter? The Women's Patriot Corporation. <laughs> Frothingham. Frothingham. That can't possibly be a person's name. Mrs. Frothingham and her compatriots are concerned American citizens. Director Hoover feels their findings are worthy of being taken seriously. Well, these geese are right about one thing. I do have a contempt for authority. Oh, it's true. The surest way to get my husband to do what you want is to tell him not to. Dr. Einstein. Mrs. Frottingham suggests here that relativity is of no more practical importance than the number of angels dancing on the head of a pin. How many angels do you, or Mrs. Frottingham, imagine could fit on the head of a pin and still have room to dance. I suggest you treat me and these proceedings with some respect. You're not making it easy for me. Well, let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we? Are you, in fact, a member of the Communist Party? <laughs> well, Mr. Geist, despite my deepest sympathy for certain socialist ideals, such as? Economic fairness, the belief that it is our duty as humans to contribute to our communities. But the notion that I should join the Communist Party, a commitment that would require I surrender my autonomy to the authority of the state, that, good sir, is a nonsense. A monkey in a hat riding a dog to a donut factory. <laughs> I'm concerned that neither of you are appreciating the gravity of this situation. I dare say I know a bit more about gravity than you, Mr. Geist. And a few other things besides. How long have you lived in Berlin? A little over two years. What do you think about Mr. Hitler? No, he's unpleasant. But in the grand scheme of things, he seems little more than a nuisance. I don't understand you, Mr. Geist. Hitler rejects economic rule and talks of expanding German territory. He advocates for eugenics. Who are the impure ones he speaks of, do you think? I would like to leave Germany of my own accord and save him the trouble of violently exiling me. Or worse. Do you really think the German people would stand for that? The government deporting the world's most famous scientist? Jewish scientist. I'm a Jew. Zionism. Communism. These are not the threats that should be concerning you, Mr. Geist. It's fascism that should have you trembling. 